Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a small test using the canteen cup stove with my modification one using the Coglin's fuel tablets and I've got three requests to do other things so I'm going to try to do all three of them in this one video. The one request was to show my mod a little clearer. I guess I didn't have it in the light very well. Basically it's just a canteen cup stove and I took two pieces of coat hanger. Let's see if this works. Can you see that? Yeah. I just took this is one piece and I bent it into this basic shape so that it fits into the canteen cup stove. Just have two of them. I'm trying to find figure a different way to do this that's a little bit easier because as you can see it's not easy to get two pieces of wire bent exactly the same. The other part with this is a shelf. It's just a hardware cloth where I bent over the two long edges to give it a little more strength and that would just fit across the shelves or I mean it would form a shelf just like that. Now in this test because I made this for a different type of a stove and I'm going to try it on that some Bonton stove but uh, this is a little too short so I bent another piece of hardware cloth wire to form a, a little bit more of a shelf to drop down. So basically all you do is you just put these two pieces into the stove take your hardware cloth shelf and just drop it in between them just like that. I don't know, can you see that? So that's my mod one. Uh, the other thing was to burn one tablet instead of the two and to not use aluminum foil to just set it on to the hardware cloth. Now the one thing with these tablets is they're very hard to light just the way they are. So your best bet is to take your knife and just scrape the top somewhat so that you get a pile of dust or crumbs on it. I don't know, can you see that? There's just a pile of loose tablet right there. So just carefully drop it in. Don't use a knife that you use with food to do this type stuff. So I've got two cups of water here. I'm going to try two cups even though I'm using one tablet. <clears throat> two cups of water, a piece of aluminum foil to form a lid. Put the probe back in. Now I was asked also, do I have to do the 180 on this? You know, turn the canteen cup around. You don't have to. I'm sure it will work in here. You know, exactly the way it was made. See, it just sets on there like that. But for the ease of photographing it here, videotaping it, I'm going to put it in the 180. So let's light this. You just put the match to the loose stuff that you put on the top. Hopefully that will start the rest of the cube. Yeah, it looks like it took a very small flame there. I'm going to put this on top so we don't lose any of the heat. Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. And let's see where that goes. Okay, so there you see the flames coming up the side of the cup because this has been elevated off of the pot stand a little bit. So the flames are able to come out and up the sides of the canteen cup, which help in heating up the water.
Okay, there you can see. Can you see? It did happen what I thought would. The uh, tablet melted and fell through the hardware cloth. Now it's sitting on the cement board, which means now the heat, the flame, isn't going up to the canteen cup stove anymore. So that is what happened. It melted, fell through, and now it's burning on the floor, on the tabletop. Okay, the crumbs of that are just about ready to go out. Still a little bit of a burn there. Temperature's gone up to 158. Waiting to see when it drops here. One fifty nine. And I think that's pretty much it. So, let's call it at 7 minutes and 30 seconds, and the highest temperature was 159 degrees. So that's what happens. Oh, that's hot. That's what happens when you put the cube right on the hardware cloth. See, there's a, can you see that? Yeah, there's a pile of residue there. But the cube melted and fell apart and fell right through to the tabletop and was burning from there. That's why I, I thought that might happen. That's why I put the aluminum foil underneath it, little pieces of aluminum foil. I didn't cover the whole shelf just two little pieces underneath the tablets okay so it kinda looks like two cups of water starting at 61 degrees room temperature 62.6 40% humidity uh, it burned for seven minutes and thirty seconds and brought the water up to 159 that's probably warm enough you know for a cup of cocoa or something there's bubbles forming in there but just not high enough and of course you know we got the residue yep. now somebody asked me is it really soot or is it like a gummy stuff it's kind of wet and gummy it's not sooty like what you'd get off a wood fire but it's shiny and wettish looking but as you saw in the other video, with steel wool you can scrub it off. But it leaves stains if you set it down on something. So, I hope that helps. If there's any more requests, let me know. As always, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.